Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and uh, in this video I'm going to install the Artem strap, sailcloth strap on my Seiko 62 Moss Recreation, the SJE093. Spent a few weeks with this watch on the factory silicone strap. Um, I like the look of it except for the length of this strap kind of sticks off the side of my wrist and also it's silicone it's not the most comfortable strap so uh, Artem straps provided these straps so I'll try to mark the video as a paid promotion try to remember to do that and anyway I wanted to show you the length of this real quick so it's probably inch and a half inch at least an inch shorter and I like the look of the sailcloth but also with this strap, with the Omega style deployant clasp, it will hide the excess underneath here. So we will not have anything sticking out under out from the side of my wrist. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. I'm sure the strap is this long uh, as it's a dive watch. It's a recreation of the 62 Moss Tropic style strap but it's silicone, uh, tropic straps are rubber, so they'd be a lot more comfortable than this, but anyway. Also, I don't care for that metal keeper. So you can see that thing just sticking out there. Uh, it, when wearing long sleeves, it, the sleeves really do get caught up on this thing. But anyway, there it is on the factory strap. The buckle's pretty big too. So let's get this on. Sorry, I thought the spring the tool was I thought it was bent. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh, get this thing off of here. Hopefully without scratching anything. And then that metal keeper kind of tinkles around a little bit too. Um, so the other thing I didn't really think about is, yeah, so this has the fat spring bars and you can order this with the fat spring bar or you can order it with the quick release. I got the quick release just because it's obviously easier to put them on and off. Yeah, I was curious too. This has, so that does have a, a metal sleeve in there. The uh, most of the newer Seikos have a metal sleeve inside of the silicone straps. I'm not exactly sure why they do that. And I'm assuming with the deployment I'm still going to put the buckle part will be on this side. So hopefully this works on this watch. Uh, 19 millimeter lug width so I couldn't just throw another strap on there because I don't have any other night. I don't have any 19 millimeter straps. So we do have a little bit of play because I don't have the fat uh, spring bars, but it should be fine. Then I'll have to figure out how to size or how to put the strap in the this point here. Okay, there we go. Here's the first look at this. I think it looks good. I was really going back and forth on if I wanted the white stitching or the black stitching. I went with black just because the factory strap is all black. Maybe I should have done the white. Oh well. A little more conservative styled anyway. I gotta put that strap in a bag because I don't want to lose those spring bars. Okay, let's get this thing on here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Is that it right? Nope. Yeah, so want to come up and then down somehow. See how there's that little lip on there? 
It's a lip right there, and then there's another one there. If I go like this, well, how am I going to do that? Up and then down. That's going to take a little bit of persuasion to get in there because you have that uh, pin there and then I'm going to have to push the pin through the hole but then up and over through here. Uh, I don't want to mess up this strap. Now I'm going to have to play around with this. We'll pause the video. I'll be right back. All right, so I was playing around with it a little bit. I'm not sure if this is the way you're supposed to do it, so maybe I should look up how to do it, but I'm just going to push it through like that. Try to guess. Maybe it'll be right there. So maybe you can see the pin in there or not. And then kind of squish it on the sides. Work it under that side, work it under that side. Then the pin should be right there. There it is. Press down. So you can see that pin in there now. And hopefully that was the right one, the right size. Uh, nope, looks like I need to go a little tighter. So I have a six and a half inch wrist, 52 millimeter wrist span. And I think I'm going to have to go on the second tightest hole. So let's uh, try and get that on there. So I'm just pushing it through. I think I see the pin in there. So just pushing down with my thumbs, fingernails. All right, now we have the pins showing through even more. Man, I could almost, I could almost go tighter, but maybe not. You know, I'm gonna try it on the tighter one. I think it might be too tight, but um, let's see if I can get it off of here. So I'm just squeezing the sides of the strap. Man, I don't know how to... I guess I shouldn't have pressed it down there so hard. That wasn't very smart of me. I'm really squeezing the heck out of this thing. There we go. Get that back in there. Again, I have no idea if this is the way you're supposed to do it. pin's kind of in there a little bit so let's just see how this is. I'm going to say this is too tight because I can barely get my hand over it or through it. Okay what's going on here? because I don't have it pushed on the pin. Well, 
this is taking a little longer than I thought it would. It's because I don't have that pushed all the way over the pin, but I really don't want to push it all the way over the pin because I think it's going to be too tight. It's just not too tight. It's probably the size I need. All right, so we'll put it on the tightest hole. And uh, this thing will need to get broken in. Fairly stiff right now. Okay, now that pin's more prominent sticking out of there, so it should close now. There we go. Yeah, now it feels too tight. Hmm, I need to think about what I want to do here. Well, let me know what you think of this watch on this sailcloth strap. I may be looking for some other 19 millimeter strap options in the future here. I'm going to try this for uh, probably two to three weeks. Um, see how well it gets broken in. I'm just going to try to pre-bend it here a bit with my fingers. I really like the look of the sailcloth strap and then I like the ease of the deploy it here. We can just kind of throw it on wrist without having to monkey with the, the buckle and the tang and all that stuff. Uh, I'm thinking this is, I don't know if it's too tight or not. Because you can see, yeah, maybe not. Well, we'll try this out. Anyway, um, as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.